You know, plantations make up much of Louisiana's history, but one special property in Wallace is using its dark history to try and move people into a brighter future. For tonight's Profile in Black History, Jaron Jordan takes you to the Whitney Plantation. At the old Haydell Sugar Plantation in Wallace, it's not the big white house or towering oak trees sitting on stunning landscapes that makes this plantation different from any other, but... We have here not someone's opinion of what happened in slavery, but we actually have the voices from the freed slaves who had no voices. John Cummings opened the plantation as the Whitney Museum in December, but it's been over a decade in the making. Now it stands as one of the only plantations in the state, maybe even country, with a narrowed focus on the lives of the resilient people of slavery. I've read maybe three or 400 books on slavery, and I'm still in the first grade. Second semester, I hope, but I'm still in the first grade. He'll be the first to tell you he's no expert in the institution of slavery, but is unapologetic in his quest to use the past as a solution to our present. We're not here to point fingers, but we have to embrace it in order for us to understand, in order for us to understand what the life of a slave was like and why there is such a hangover from slavery. Though the Whitney was once an 1,800-acre sugar plantation, you can still see sugar bins lining two of its original slave quarters, there's no sugar coating the history. A deliberate choice, according to Cummings' partner and the Whitney's chief historian, Dr. Ibrahim Sek. When people get educated about the past, I think they would be more willing to do something to uh, bring a solution to the problems we have today. Whitney, that education comes to life through monuments, including the 18 walls, which list the people enslaved in Louisiana spanning nearly 100 years. More than 100,000 names. And the Field of Angels, which painfully depicts the names and stories of enslaved children who died in this parish alone, many never seeing their third birthday. The system was based on the sweat and tears of those people who were deported from Africa and their descendants. We thought that it was really important to focus on the lives of the, of the slaves. Take a look at all of that, and you will see that the quest for freedom was never given up all the way back to the slave vessels. It was alive. It's part of a continuing history. It's that continued history that we celebrate this Black History Month, realizing that it's our shackled and divided past that just may lead us into a more united future. But every slave and every slave owner came from a different village on a different boat. <clears throat> but today we find ourselves all in the same boat awaiting another voyage. In Wallace, Jaron Jordan, WAFB, Nine News. I know. Are you asking, where is Wallace? Well, the Whitney Plantation is located on Highway 18 in St. John the Baptist Parish. We have more information on the tours, how to get tickets on our website. Just head over to WAFB.com.